Good afternoon and welcome to another Metal Forming Minute. My name is John Wiegerchess and I'm here with Eunice Mark Cooper and we're here to discuss the setups of the SPR2000 controller. John, this is our demo stand and it's really designed for to show our customers our capabilities for the metal forming market. So here we have our SPR2000 controller which allows you to program jobs for either a roller system, this is a 12 inch wide roller, or one of our mini roller systems, which is one of our smaller roller applicators for narrow recoils, or an Indi spray nozzle. So what's really nice about the controller, John, is you can set all your jobs to memory, save them to memory, and just call them up whenever you change a die set. So it takes all the guesswork out, operators don't need to tamper with the settings. Once they're set, you can kind of forget it. John, let's take the controller here and just kind of walk through an imaginary setup just to show the viewers how easy it is. When you first get the unit, you can program the film thickness, the fluid film thickness that you want to apply across the coil. You go to configure, number three is configure auto setup, and option two here is set your lube thickness. So if we go to there, uh, and let's say we want to apply 10 microns of fluid evenly across the top and the bottom of the coil, we go and program that in, and now that's set. Now the controller is designed, it can, it can save up to 250 different jobs to memory. So when programming new jobs, in order to see which ones are set and which ones are already defined, we can again go to configure, choose option number seven, which allows you to view the setups. And we can see that jobs one through five are already defined. Job number six is the next unused. So if we go to edit from there, call up job number six which is the next open job and it'll ask you if you'd like to do a manual setup or an auto setup An auto setup is really the easiest way to go so we'll choose option number two and allow the controller to ask us the questions in order to apply that film thickness so it asks what's the maximum number of strokes or cycles per minute let's say this particular press is going to run 40 strokes per minute the next question is, what's the feed length between inputs? Let's say for this job, it's four inches between inputs, so it's a four inch progression. The next question is, what's the width of the stock in roller set number one? So for this particular job, we're using a 12 inch wide roller. If we were gonna be using one of our wider roller units, which uses staggered roller sets, it would ask the user for each one of those individual sets. But this is only a 12 inch wide unit. And let's say for this individual set, we're gonna be running eight inch wide coil. And our job is created. So you see the outputs, there's lower roller one and upper roller one. The count, every 13 strokes of the press, the valves are gonna fire for 260 milliseconds, and that job is set. So this is, this is the exact settings needed to apply an even film thickness of 10 microns on the top and bottom of the coil. When it's time to run that job, you simply go to memory, choose job number six, enter, and it's ready to go. So Mark, it sounds like the SPR2000 makes it really easy to set up dye lubrication. Yeah, definitely. Whether you're going to do an auto setup or a manual setup, it's really simple to do, John. And for more information or actually a really thorough video on how to do the setups, please go to our website at unist.com.